Taylor Prelac, and I'm the um, president founder of Brooks Bereavement Bears. So what inspired you to create uh, Brooks Bereavement Bears? Um, so in February of 2020, um, we got pregnant, um, very late February, 2020, and we just started COVID. We were excited and, um, we had our first ultrasound on April 1st and, um, you know, we found out that the baby was doing okay, has had a strong heartbeat and my OB told me that the baby was measuring about a week and a half behind which she said wasn't a big deal um they'll monitor me and um set me on my way i had a little you know ultrasound picture and eight days later my worst nightmare happened and i started to bleed my ob said go to the emergency room and that was then we found out that my baby had passed away um it was very sad. It was the middle, just like the height of COVID and no one could hug me. No one could hold my hand. You know, ERs were just packed then and just no one had the time or anything to, you know, sit down and, you know, hold my hand when I was bawling my eyes out because I just, you know, lost my baby. I was devastated. I was nine, nine weeks and, um, you know, we didn't have a cause for it. Just, you know, one in four women um, experienced miscarriage or pregnancy loss. And I didn't know at the time that that was that high and, um, no one in my family had a miscarriage, so I couldn't talk to anyone. I felt alone. I felt guilty. I felt angry. Um, and no one in the hospital gave me anything. I went home empty handed. So I created, um, this idea of just wanting something to hold when something like that happens. Um, I had a DNC surgery, um, dilation and cardiology, it's a medical term, just a surgery to, you know, get the rest of the baby out, unfortunately. And um, the, my family member actually gave me a teddy bear to hold after my surgery. And it was so nice to have and to actually hold on to something like physical here in this world. And it was just a nice gesture. And I thought oh my gosh, I could turn this into something positive and honor my heavenly child with that. And it just blossomed. I mean, nonprofit. You've established it in 2022. What was the process to officially create it? Honestly, so my baby passed away in 2020. And then every year on the miscarriage, the anniversary of my miscarriage, I would donate these bears and it was just a thing that I did just to honor. And then, you know, my family members and my friends all told me, you know, you should, you should make something out of that. Cause a lot of people, um, you know, need that. You should make it into a nonprofit. So that's what I did. And, um, you know, I had him and my, my, I had my son in 2021 and, you know, that was a lot to do. And, um, you know, he's two now and he can, um, you know, plan his own whatnot and just had the time and just made a nonprofit and um, IRS accepted it and state of Ohio accepted it. And it's been a, it's been a journey. The day that I found out that I was pregnant with my earth son, Brooks, who's now two. Um, so the, the day I found out I was pregnant, we went out to dinner and I came out of the restaurant and there was a beautiful full rainbow right in front of me. And babies born after a miscarriage is called a rainbow baby. So I sat in the parking lot, literally cried for about five minutes. And people were coming out of the restaurant, like, Are you okay? Are you okay? I'm like, Yeah, this I'm fine. <laughs> so it was just like a it was a sign from, you know, heaven that this was gonna be okay, that your baby was gonna be okay. How is it, especially with a, the bear, just a sign of support from someone going through the same thing? Correct. So I have a little message here on the bear. Do you want me to read it to you? Uh, yes, please. It's, Dear friend, you are not alone. My heart aches for any woman who, lo who loses her baby. Part of grieving, oh, sorry, part of my grieving and honoring my heavenly child is giving this teddy bear to you. 
please hold on to me when you feel you need comforting. Your baby will always be with you. So that's my little message to everyone who receives this bear. And um, I'll get messages on Facebook. I'll get messages on my website um, saying, hey, I just, I, I know a friend who needs a bear. Can you please send it to her? Here's her address and whatnot. And I'll send this bear in a box with like little blue and, or not blue and pink tissue paper and a little handwritten note if I know the story of, you know, yeah. when she lost or not. And it's just a nice thing from someone who went through the same thing that you did having that feeling of you're not alone someone's um comforting you who who has been in that and who's been in your shoes who's been in that situation and to know that you're not alone um a whole part of my when I lost my child is I felt so empty and so alone and I didn't know anyone who had lost a child before and I just I kept to myself and I didn't talk to anyone I didn't respond to texts I didn't I didn't know how to you know grieve openly um so yeah this baby this bear is just a labor of love from my own nightmare and turning into something positive to comfort other women how has the nonprofit helped your grieving process it's it's helped me to know that I've made a difference in comforting others. It um, very truly has helped my heart um, be more at ease. You know, I, I still grieve um, in my own way, but I know that helping other women um, helps me. You said some of the emails uh, that uh, people are asking to help their loved ones and stuff. Have you heard back from people who receive the bear? Yes, yes. I've gotten many messages. And, you know, um, some people don't, and that's okay. Um, that's part of their grieving process. But I've gotten many messages saying, thank you so much for sending me this bear. It has truly, truly helped me be comforted. And, you know, I sit alone and I cry and I hug this bear and it just, it makes me feel like I'm I'm holding my baby again. It's just something that, you know, people just need to feel that um, you're not alone. It's just the sense of not being alone. Someone is reaching out and giving you this bear and saying, you're not alone. Um, A lot of people are, like you said, uh, about one in four. And some people do feel alone, but you're changing that. Right. It's your, your, your baby is still a part of you and it's, something in your life that you will never ever forget and it 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 changes how you look at life it changes how you go through every moment that you you cherish um your kids a lot more you cherish you know moments in your child's life and your family's life and um you just never forget that where do you want to see the nonprofit uh in the future I would love to get this to every hospital in Ohio, um, because that's where I'm from. Mm -hmm. Uh, And I would, you know, ultimately love to see it in every hospital everywhere. But I know, you know, we're still um, a very small nonprofit. And I just would love to see this bear be given everywhere. But I know it's it's off far away in um, in the future. What motivates you? Um, that's a good question. Um, the feeling of truly helping someone in need. And because I know, I know how I felt in the hospital, um, where no one could hug me and I know how that felt. And I, I, um, think about other women who maybe, um, their husbands are away or, um, they're a single mother who doesn't have anyone with them. And I think that this bear is truly, truly helping other women. And I just, I feel the need to help and to comfort. And I just, I love that. I'm very um, proud of myself for doing this. And I know that sounds really not humble of me, but I'm very proud of my organization.
I'm very proud of it. I agree with you. Just being there for people, you know, feels good. <laughs> right, right. Exactly, exactly. So how can people uh, reach out to you? Um, I have um, Facebook. I have Instagram. Um, my website is www.brooksbereavementbears.com. And you can reach out to me if you know anyone in Ohio that has lost a baby. Um, or if you want to donate to our cause, um, I can buy these bears at wholesale for $16 a bear. So $16 um, provides a bear to anyone in need.